Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing another math video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, what the meaning of a square root is. So where it actually comes from, and what uh, what you need kind of need to know. But and I got a question here where you might have a little application of it. So square root is uh, something that's taught in math a lot, and there's a lot of confusion generally about it. Um, if we have a square, and we want to find the area of it, so let's give it a decent. So let's say the area of this, uh, the side lengths of this square are four and four. We know that we can find the area if we take one of those side lengths. So I'll just say side length, and we square it, just like that. So we take our four, and we square it, and we get sixteen. So the area of this guy is sixteen. Well, what if we had an area? and we want it to find the side length. So if we had an area and we wanted to find the side length, we would have to do, and I'll say the word opposite, of a square. So that's where square root comes in. Square root is the opposite of a square. So if I wanted to find the side length, and I'll just call it SL. Oh, I shouldn't have put the dot there. Let's try that again. SL. Uh, what we need to do is we need to take the square root of the area. So in our case, if we take the square root of 16, we're just doing the opposite. So in this question we ask, well, what's 4 squared? So 4 times 4 is 16. So then we would say, what's the square root of 16? Well, the square root of 16 is the numbers that make it, that multiply to get 16. So 4 times 4. So in this case, it will be just 4. So it's, you know, it's really a simple concept that the you know, if you square the side length, you get the area. If you take square root of the area, you get the side length. So that's all it is. That's what that particular function does. So, you know, let's give another example. So if we have a square that has an area of 25, if I want to find the side length, all I need to do is take the square root of 25, and then I have 5. So that would be a square that is 5 times 5 simple as that so the so really at its deepest meaning or as meaning a square root is the side length of a square okay so when you take the square root of a particular number you're looking for the side length of a square so let's have a look at a question that you might see so it says uh, Larry and Reggie want to put a fence around their square yard the yard has an area of 141 meters squared how much area, how much fencing will they need? So the thing you'll notice about this is this is not a perfect square. But we're still going to use the fact that side length is equal to the square root of area. So well, I'm actually going to estimate this one. So just go 141, square root of 141. So I'm going to use what's called the goalpost method. So inside my goal, um, I want to be able to guesstimate my square root. So on the outside, I'm going to put the next closest perfect square to this guy is 144. So my 141 is on the inside of the goal. And then down from 144, so that would be 12 squared. 11 squared would be 121. So obviously we're closer to the left to the right post so the square root of 144 is 12 so this would be really close to 12 so I'm gonna call the square root of 141 to be about 11.9 okay so we'll estimate that and anytime we estimate we use the dot you could also guys just chuck it in your calculator if that's you know if that was your objective so how much fencing do we need so this is a square yard a square has four sides so what I need to do is multiply this by four so I go uh, and that's really the same thing as the perimeter so I'm just gonna call it the perm so it's four times eleven point nine so we can do four times twelve if you wanted to which would be hundred forty eight so this would be 100, or sorry, uh, not 148, 48, so 47.6, so somewhere in that ballpark. And there it is, guys, so that will be 
Uh, first of all, this would be meters, and this would be also be meters. All right, guys, so that's how you do square root, and it's meaning that side length and square root are really closely related. So this formula right here is very useful. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in class.